Hey guys, we are wrapping up this most recent wave of Lightning Collection reviews with a look at the newest Zeo Ranger to be added to the mix. We're taking a look at Zeo Blue. So this is how we get our Rocky head sculpt out of the line at this point. We've got him here in our standard packaging for the line. So figure there in the window, you've got the stylized artwork of the helmet on the side there that wraps around to the side of the box. And then the back of the package has a shot of the figure in action done up in that kind of CG rendered style. So let's do it. Let's pull this guy out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our blue Zeo Ranger. So we're diving into the standard team for Zeo, not counting gold. That was, of course, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive last year. And this is one of my favorite seasons of Power Rangers. It's one of my favorite seasons of the Sentai as well. So I've kind of got just some nostalgia for this particular season, this costume, these suits. And, well, it's kind of a basic figure in terms of the Lightning Collection, because Zeo is basically just a, a spandex suit. They don't have any crazy embellishments outside of the embroidery on the, on the figure. So we've got kind of an unadulterated body here that can move pretty much as well as any Lightning Collection figure can. So we've got a head that can look up, and he can look down. You can rotate all the way around. There's not really any tilt on this one. Arms go out at the shoulder. They go all the way around, of course. You've got your butterfly joint, bicep swivel in there double jointed elbows as usual and then we've got our hinges we've got vertical hinge on the left hand with rotation and then you've got vertical hinge with rotation on the right as well he does of course come with other hands which we'll get to you've got your torso uh, diaphragm cut so he goes side to side really well backwards forwards all the way around of course you've got that in conjunction with an ab crunch so he goes forwards and then he goes backwards really well also legs go out about that far they kick forward all the way, backwards a little bit. You do have your thigh cut, double jointed knees, almost kicks his own butt. Yeah, he can do it. And then you've got your boot cut, rocker, and you've got hinges down at those ankles. So he does have everything that a standard male lightning collection figure has, and there's really nothing getting in the way of putting this guy into some really great dynamic poses. Now, as far as the aesthetics on this guy, I think we've actually got a little bit of an improvement here over the Gold Ranger that we got in the Zeo MMPR 2-pack from SDCC, because that guy, while he is the Gold Ranger, he wasn't metallic gold. He was just kind of gold in theory, I suppose. He didn't really have a shine to him. They seem to have fixed that with the standard rangers, and this guy does have a little bit of a luster to him. There's definitely some metallic paint going on uh, with this particular figure. He doesn't really share a lot of parts with that gold ranger either, you know, maybe like the thighs and stuff like that, but the uh, the chest piece he might also share because there is the printing underneath the chest armor on the gold ranger, but the cuffs and the belt and stuff like that is all very different here. Biceps aren't the same because he has bands and this one doesn't. So the standard body is a little more unique than you might think at first glance. And there's not there's not a lot of paint on this guy outside of the gold. That's pretty much really all there is. So you've got the gold accents on the cuffs, which has all of that intricate sculpting. I love the Zeo uh, kind of ancient circuitry look is the best way to kind of describe it, the almost hierog hieroglyphic look to it. I really like these little accents on the chest. They, of course, bleed through to the butterfly joints, which has a little bit of sculpting on them as well to, get, to kind of carry that transition. And then you've got more on the belt, which which has the emblem for the Zeo Rangers. He does have a holster on either side for the, for the gun and for the sword. And then you've got your boots with more of that sculpt work. Body looks good. The helmet in general is really nicely done. I think proportions are nice. It's really shiny in comparison to the body, which I really like. Uh, the black is very, very stark contrast thanks to that silver piping. And it's, you know, it's this, the simple geometric shapes of the Zeo Rangers kind of make them a little basic, but at the same time, that's a damn cool looking helmet. And the body in general is just really well done. I have no issues with paint bleed or anything like that on this figure. He's really crisp and clean. And uh, yeah, he just looks great. He looks exactly like he's supposed to. Now, as far as accessories goes, this is where the figure kind of stumbles a little bit. Not because he doesn't have a lot, but because what he, some of what he has is, is kind of wonky. So to start with, you've got your extra head sculpt. So the unhelmeted head sculpt, our Rocky head sculpt, and it's okay. I, I think this is uh, close, but it's not exactly there. He kind of looks a little fat-faced in some ways. Otherwise, it's okay. It's one of those where... I'm happy they included it, but I'm likely never going to use it. And in comparison to, I'd say, the other three head sculpts in this particular wave, he's easily the worst one. There's just something about it that is uh, is is off for sure. You can, of course, put this on the Red Ranger body if you want to give him uh, the Red Ranger body and have your Rocky Red Ranger, since he, of course, was the second Red. So you've got that as far as MMPR goes. We do have two fists to swap out. So he's got a gripping hand and he's got a trigger finger hand in the box. You've got 
two fists here. We've got his pistol, which has a pretty decent amount of sculpt work, a little bit of paint on it as well, gold, black, red, white, and you can pop this guy in the holster over here on his right, your left. And then we've got his sword. So this is, this is another area where it's kind of wonky because You've got the fully extended sword, which is great. You know, I mean, that's how they fight. It's got a lot of intricate sculpt work on the hilt at the handle. There's more of that Zeo hier hieroglyphics look, which I think looks really nice. Paint works on it is pretty good, but they don't holster it like this. They don't sheath it like this. It's it's supposed to be uh, tightened up, you know, just like the uh, just like the blade blasters with MMPR. They aren't giving us both versions of the swords for Zeo, which at the end of the day is not a huge huge thing because I'd rather have it in his hand than on his waist, but the problem there is that they don't have their actual unique weapons. The Zeo Blue Ranger has the what the power axes or tonfas or whatever, whatever they're called. I don't remember. And he doesn't he doesn't have those. They were shown when this guy was originally revealed to be coming, but then they they got cut in production. So we only have the gun and the sword. And then you do have an energy effect, which we've seen this before. It, it escapes me which figure or figures has come with it, but it's a translucent light blue effect piece. You can put the sword in there and have it kind of reflecting. A, a laser blast or another sword or another attack or something. So you've got a bunch of stuff, but it's not all the best versions of what it could be. So overall, there's a lot of good with this figure, but there's some bad. That's basically what it comes down to. It's kind of a, a give and take on this figure. He looks fantastic. The blue is really deep and rich. The golds pop against the figure, especially in contrast to the Gold Ranger. And everything about his design works really well. The articulation is unencumbered in its entirety in this figure. He can move really well. Nothing gets in the way of this guy. Where he falls flat, though, like I said, are the accessories. The head sculpt for the unhelmeted head is just off. It doesn't really look like Steve Cardenas. And and the sword is not the right version of the sword in context of it being holstered like that. It should be the shortened version. He does have a lot of stuff, though. Don't get me wrong. So you're not missing anything in terms of quantity, but we're missing something in terms of substance when it comes to not having those unique Tonfa weapons, because those would have really made this figure into something much, much cooler. So that's going to do it for this look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Blue Zeo Ranger. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.